Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happy. With Brett Barry and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan, and David Aldridge will be joining us on the sideline as well. GA, it's all yours. Thank you, Kevin. Big man Jarrett Allen challenges all high flyers at the rim. He said nobody likes getting dunked on. People call it a business decision. I don't think about that. My role is to be a rim protector, so I'm going to sacrifice for the team. Whether it's a block or a dunk, either way, I'll be on a highlight. It's a good way of thinking about it. Guys? Absolutely, David. He knows his role, doesn't he? Thanks for that report. And here's what Cleveland's schedule is looking like. On Wednesday, they'll be facing Stephen Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And then on Friday, they'll be matching up against Gordon Hayward and the Charlotte Hornets. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. Sexton and Okoro are your wingmen. Jared Allen is out there with Lowry Markkinen. And it's Garland in at the point. And for the Clippers, the guard spots filled by Jackson and George. Leonard and Morris are up in the forward position. And it's Zubats in its center locking down the middle. And for those teams that suffered a harsh ending to last season, Greg, what are they feeling here on opening night? I mean, motivated. You, you think about that kind of thing all summer, and the chance for retribution starts now. Now, here's Garland. Over Jackson. And the rejection by Zubats. And he's able to get it back. Four on the shot clock. Second shot opportunity. That shot off the mark. And the Clippers will come the other way. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. A split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Real close, and I'm sure next time you might time that a little bit better and get a hand on it. And a chance there to look back at the stunning mobile one block a moment ago. And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Now here's Jackson. Leonard, that's for two. Allen with the rebound. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Okoro kicks to Garland. Sexton on the wing, defended by George. And the rejection by Zubats. Pass to Jackson. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Oh, George doesn't just score. He can pass it as well. He's a great all-around player. Pass to Allen. Sexton on the wing. Back to Allen. And then Allen slams it in. Oh, fellas, that was vicious. Two-hand monster slam. Guys, I don't think there was anyone who could have stopped him on that one. And a meeting I have of Colin Sexton in Alabama. How about he scored 40 points in a game where the Tide only had three players on the court down the stretch. The young fellow was undaunted. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. Okoro. Rebound by the Clippers. And in that game with only three players, Sexton almost led them to a comeback break. In fact, they actually cut a 14-point lead down to three. And that tells you about Sexton's mindset. He was not prepared to let them lose, even under the toughest scenario you can imagine. Gives the team such a great element, having a one guard who can get to the tent. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Now, here's Sexton. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Leonard against Sexton. Leonard on the wing. Three-pointer hits the three-point line. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Garland left side. And 
they get it. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Reggie Jackson. Pretty exciting the potential of Darius Garland. If he finds an offense that he can operate in and continue to be efficient, he's a guy that's going to keep improving. Throw good, Garland. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Los Angeles. All three throws good from Garland. Well, a great player on a great role at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Leonard. Allen with the rebound. Yeah, can't see why he missed that one there. The D's close, but like plenty of room. Passes it to Garland. He dishes it to Allen. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Baca against Allen. And it's blocked by Ibaka. Uh, when it comes to the timing, Serge Ibaka has that in spades. What a great sense for blocking shots. Leonard against Markinen. Shot from 12. And that one's good. Leonard. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do. And right at the top is guard that guy. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need the basket. All right, then. Get on your feet. Make some noise for T-shirt time. Your Substitution here for the Clippers. Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Marcus Morris. Mann comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Luke Kennard. He's checked in for George. And Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Jackson. Two minutes remaining in the third. Rubio against Bloodsoft. Sexton on the wing. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. A putback. Great positioning on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Rubio against Bloodsoft. And stolen by Mobley. And here we go, Rubio heading to the hoop. No good on the shot. Clippers leading by five. Up top, Bledsoe. He's guarded by Love. No good from Bledsoe. Well, the D's so tight on him, it makes him alter his shot. And an easy chance turns into a tough one because the defense is swarming. Now here's Love. 
And with the rebound. I get a feeling that he made that much more difficult than he had to. No reason why he had to fade away on that jumper. Down low. Here's Ibaka. Count it. Yeah, that's some grown man stuff down on the inside from Serge. Able to take that punishment and still finish it off. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Love against Ibaka. Eight feet away. Second chance shot. Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. And it's Bledsoe with the ball for the Los Angeles Clippers. Man passes to Bledsoe. Nineteen seconds left in the first. Here is Windler. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. It's stolen. With one on the clock, the shot, no good. And so is the Los Angeles Clippers heading to the bench with a seven-point lead as we wrap up the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. to get better each day and I'm just continuing to be the best me I can be that's it well you can see the work he's putting in his numbers have grown year after year and, uh, the scoring in particular he's showing promise interesting to see just how good he can become and if you're just joining us we've played through one quarter in this one and before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Clippers? Well, their effort on the defensive end has set the tone for this game. The defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. So on the floor for Cleveland, Mobley and Allen, the two big men inside. Okoro out there with Darius Garland. And it's Markkanen in at the three. And with the rise of guards like Steph Curry and Trey Young, it seems like the little guys are really making their mark in the NBA. Well, they're starting to affect Kevin the way that really management is looking at building out their team. They're trying to find wings that are equipped with defensive ability, but willingness to shoot the three ball. Guards that are small enough and quick enough to get you an advantage to spread the floor a little bit. So uh, the three ball and the way team construction has happened has changed the league quite rapidly. Free throws good from Garland. Here's Jackson. He's got seven. And there's the pass to Leonard. A shake. And he lays it up and in. Leonard's got the lead up to ten now for the Clippers. That's great touch from the swing man as Kawhi knows that he can capitalize from that area and he can get there anytime he wants. Allen with the screen for a Coro. Arkanen passes to Garland. Four on the clock, and Allen with the layup. And that's what happens when you get after it on the glass. Allen grinding it out and creating that second chance opportunity for himself. Now here's Leonard. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. Excellent D there from Allen. His shooting has been a little bit below par. You think about what this lead would look like if he was on. And you got to like the vision for marketing. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. 
and Markin and out of Finland, Greg, who's one of the hot names in free agency this last summer. And, and surprisingly, didn't get an extension before the season. Just hard to find seven footers that can shoot like Markin. You knew at least a few teams who would try and lure him away. And Aguero, he plays determined, but he also plays very physical, so he's going to draw fouls from anywhere. The first trip to the free throw line for him in this one. First one comes. And in the 2020 draft, Isaac Okoro taken fifth as a one and done player in college. He has that profile of a 2 3 man who can switch and play some physical defense. Marcus Morris is checked in for the Clippers. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Yeah, in this quarter, they've had the right approach, driving and drawing, initiating contact, create opportunities, get to the line. Now here's Leonard. Zubats with the screen for Leonard. No good, shot missing. Excellent D there from Allen. This is a rough stretch right here for him offensively. Seems to be rushing shots. Now here's Mobler. D right on him. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Zubats has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Leonard. No good that time. And it's the Cavaliers taking it the other way. Outside Garland. Back to Markinen. Five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Garland with the bucket. Garland right now really doing a nice job of staying in perpetual motion. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard with the ball. Another miss by Leonard. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. Garland looking it over. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The Clippers have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Here's Leonard. He takes it in. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. Kind of rare to see any player have this much of a struggle from the field. To still have the lead shows how resilient they are as a complete team. Now, here's Okoro. Allen finds Garland. Two minutes remain. It's a nice passing by Cleveland here. Allen passes to Garland. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here, next up against Cleveland is how they'll kick off the new season. And last season, they made short work of this club. Two games, two wins. Sort of representative of how they each finished the season. One a playoff team, the other on the outside looking in. I think things may play out the same way this year, too. Now, here's Garland. After the miss from Reggie Jackson. Garland with it. Leonard picks him up. And it's set back by Leonard. That's what you expect from one of the greatest defenders maybe this league has ever seen. Great play by Kawhi that time. Nicholas Batum. He's checked in for Leonard. Then for the Cavaliers. Kevin Love's checked in for Mobile. And it's Sexton in for Markinen. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. After making the finals four straight years from 2015 to 2018, there have been some lean years lately for the Cavaliers. For the last three seasons, they've only won a couple more games than they did in a single season, the title season of 2016. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff says the losing is tough on everybody, but I look forward to the journey ahead. Kevin, back to you. What do they say, D.A.? The journey is the reward. Thanks.
for George, and it's Eric Bledsoe in for Reggie Jackson. Then for the Cavaliers, Windler's checked in, and Ricky Rubio subbed in for Garland. A minute 20 left to play here in the second quarter. Can they get it? Side for Batum. And they recover it. Batum sets a screen for Bledsoe. Ice yet again. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. All right, a chance to see some stats for Ricky Rubio. How he did last season. Last season, he averaged eight points a game. Six assists and three rebounds. And he's a nice scoring threat in their second unit, a guy who provides instant two, two. offense. And he has really settled into this role. For some guys, maybe him, they'd rather come off the bench and do their damage. That's good for Bledsoe. He's just such a, a bulldog out there in terms of his mentality. Eric Bledsoe can get assertive, and when he does that, it raises the level of play for the entire team. And the Clippers making a change here. Ibaka's checked in. Good on both. And here's Rubio. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. To the paint. Sexton the pass to Love. And it's sent back by Bledsoe. 6-1 guard Bledsoe up there with the block. Wow. And there's the drive. Up and in. It's good. First basket of the game for him. One for four shooting. 40 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And Rubio's passes lead to a boost in confidence for the entire team. Los Angeles leading by three. Pass to Ibaka. Pass to Mann. Outside for Batum. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Shots good by Ibaka. Yeah, and Ibaka is about as physical as you get for a big man in the NBA. Our section. Four seconds left. Off with the lane. A lot of defenders choose to just back up off of him when he's in that tight, try to avoid the end one, and this time, they're not backing off. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. The Clippers on top, up by five. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Coach Duran Lou. Coach, what is the focus going to be in the second half? Just play the right way. Move the ball, share the ball, get stops, and get out and run the transition. Always leads to good results. Thanks, Deron. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Hey, folks, welcome to the halftime show. A lead right now in this one for the Los Angeles Clippers. The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they perform. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second unit. All right, and now let's get to this first half and talk about the players who are leading their respective teams. Yeah, man, this is what we were hoping for. The two alpha dogs are squaring off. And when the team leaders are staring each other down, it's extra proud of them. They're bringing out the best of each other. Down, boy, down. 
That'll do it for our show tonight. Thanks for joining us, and we'll send you back to Kevin Harlan for more Hoops action. We saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You look at Darius Garland. Guys, what a contribution. Yeah, and through the first two quarters, he has been the offense for this team. Yeah, he's, he's shouldering the load right now and looking really comfortable while he's doing it. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. And so George will bring it up for the Clippers. Outside the wings are George and Leonard. Post tandem for him, Morris and Zubas. And it's Jackson in at the point. That's who's out there for the Clippers. Now here's Leonard. Outside for Jackson. Five to shoot. From about 19 feet. And that one hits back iron. The Cavaliers trail by five. One word you can use to describe Jared Allen Gregg is efficient. He doesn't waste his chances at the offensive end. I mean, like ever. He's very smart with his shot selection. But don't let that take away from his defense. Allen takes a lot of pride in protecting the rim. Clippers leading by five. Outside left. Over Allen. Zubox trying to break loose. 11 feet out and he hits it. Leonard's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Clippers. Sexton against George. Right side, Sexton. Now here's Akoro. And it's off from three point range. 90 seconds now into the second half. George dishes to Leonard. And that's a foul called on Colin Sexton. That is his first foul of the game. Mobley he's checked in for Allen. Cavalier substitution. Evan Mobley. The dish to Jackson. This is a two Leonard. Let's it go from 11. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Obley kicks to Sexton. Driving in. And the layup's good off the glass. Sexton's got his first basket. Pretty good balance from Sexton as the point guard there, maintaining some concentration. The pass to Leonard. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Just no resistance inside at all. They are feasting. This is a straight buffer. It is. It's a big one. Load the plate. At the line for LA, Kawhi Leonard for a free throw. At the line for one. And Greg, you look at the power that Kawhi Leonard plays with, incredibly strong for his position. And Kevin, it helps him finish through contact on offense. It also lets him guard bigger men. Kawhi makes great use of that strength on the wing. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Paul George has taken some heat in recent years. He says he can get so far what other folks think. I'm Paul George. I don't care to be anybody else. I am who I am. You love it or you don't. Simple as that. Guys with his player on the floor, he has answered all of his critics. He is certainly playing at an elite level. EA, thank you. Now, here's Sexton. After the miss from Evan Mobley. Garland, no good. Outside left. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Shoots over a coral. Converts on the jumper for the easy two. Leonard's got the lead up to 12 now for the Clippers. 
They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Now, here's Sexton. Guarded closely. And Sexton slams it in. Well, Sexton has a guard making that look so, so pretty. Los Angeles calls timeout. And it's rare to find a young big man with such an advanced skill set. Mobley can handle the ball like a small forward, has a smooth shot and, and great range. He's checked in for Zubox. Batum comes in for Marcus Morris. Kennard, he's checked in for Kawhi Leonard. Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Reggie Jackson. off the clock now here in the third. Bledsoe finds George. And he makes good on the late. George has got his first points of the night. Something sapped them of their energy defensively since halftime in the first half. Out there scrambling, running, hustling. Since then, not so much. Inside, here's Love. Nice move. And that's two points on the lane. Kevin Love showing off a bit of his moxie there and some experience there overpowering the defense with some of his strength. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two minutes. Bledsoe passes to Kennard. Here's George. Drives to the hoop. That one no good. Good D from Love. Yep, it goes, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Rubio. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Now, here is George. Sinks that one from the post. And the Clippers lead by ten. He might operate primarily on the perimeter, playing out of pick and roll and spotting up the threes, but PG could score on the inside. Mobley with it, defended by Ibaka. Mobley the pass to Love. Another shot. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. Yeah, way to play and attack and get to the line. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Clippers. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Most coaches would settle for the opposition taking mid-range jump shots, but tonight, they're on fire for them. And he knocks down the first one. Greg, let me tell you a little-known fact about Kevin Love. He played Little League Baseball with Clay Thompson. <laughs> They've been friends since they were eight. Imagine if they were teaming up on the court instead of the diamond. Even at eight years old, that's an inside-out combo that probably could have dominated some high school teams. 
Both shots good from the strike. And boy, you, you got to hand it to Kevin Love. Opening up about mental health, helping to raise awareness on a subject that affects so many around the globe. Yeah, I think both Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan, from the player's standpoint, did a great job of shedding light in that area. But Adam Silver who, himself, who went to a conference and talked a lot about what players are dealing with and how the stresses of social media and the pressures of playing are wearing on them. The league as a whole, players, management, and the commissioner himself have done a great job of providing this kind of safe environment for players to be courageous enough to step out and say, I need help. And here's Love for three. Six the three-pointer. Three -pointer. Love's got seven points. It helps to have a big man who can shoot it. Kevin Love can certainly do that, letting that one fly. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. What's a win? Picked up by Love. Kevin Love. That's his second personal foul. Los Angeles shooting five. their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. That's a line for your Clippers. Eric Bledsoe, free throw. Taking two shots. Good from Bledsoe. That one misses. And so Allen will bring it up for the Cavaliers. Eight point game. And following this game, they'll challenge the Grizzlies on the road at the FedEx Forum in Memphis. That'll be the last game of their very short three game road trip. Love outside. Fires the three. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. The Clippers lead by eight. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. Candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Come on, fans. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Get out of your seat. The Cavaliers trail by eight, and so in the game for the Cavaliers. The guard set is Garland and Sexton. Arkinen is out there with Allen. And it's a Coro in at the three spot. And it's blocked by Ibaka. And the ball travels on Ibaka. It was last touched by Ibaka. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. He's going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Ball Jones. Sexton, there's the drive, and he converts the late. They're not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now here's Leonard. Shoots from 12. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Markinen's got four rebounds in this game. Floats one. Garland, no good. Clippers leading by six. Ibaka with a screen on Markkinen. And George, here we go. A shot missing. Excellent D there from Markkinen. Cavaliers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Here's Sexton. Misses off the right iron. That's pretty much the only way to keep him from taking advantage of you down low. You've got to play tough, physical defense. Now here's Jackson. on the wing. Shot clock at six. Shoots over a Coro. And the Clippers miss again. 
The Cavaliers trail by six. Garland dishes to Markinen. Markinen sets the pick for Garland. Offline with his three. Hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. Leonard, no luck. The Cavaliers shooting a pretty sorry 29% for the four here. Back to Sexton. And that's a foul. It's called on Reggie Jackson. That'll be his second foul of the game. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Mobley's checked in. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Six to shoot. Arkin and kicks to Garland. From deep. It's rebounded by Leonard. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the threes. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. And the Clippers call time here. And there was a slight panic in L.A. when Kawhi opted out of his deal. It quickly went away as Kawhi signed a new one with the Clippers. The Clippers can build knowing Kawhi is in it for the long haul. Always nice to know you have a star that you can win with. updated from the sideline. Let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, guys, over the break, I was able to listen to Teron Lewis huddle. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way. Engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball. Guys? Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Outside, Sexton to the inside. And Allen with the slam. Sexton realizing that one of his guys is wide open in that court awareness. He was able to get it to him. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G slam camp. Now here's Jackson. Pass to Leonard. Overmarking it. Leonard, no luck. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that they're allowing him to settle in. Flushed by Allen there. What I love about him, he's a center and he's not trying to be a guard. He knows who he is. Leonard. And it's Leonard again missing. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy. Outside, Sexton. Back to Allen. Just five to shoot. Over Abaka. Allen shot is off. 
Well, that's a shot they want just about on every possession, if they can get it. He doesn't make them all, but still very much a high percentage look. Now here's Jackson over Garland. That one a little long. Kicks it to Sexton. Dishes it to Allen. Two minutes from Outside Garland. Back to Allen. It on the wing over George. No good. That would have tied. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up and you can't knock it down. There's a minute 34 left in the game. Jackson has the open look. Misses and the price spell continues. Cleveland's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Well, sometimes you just have an off night, guys, and that's what we've seen so far. The back of the pass to George. It's stolen by Allen. Marketing against George. And that's a foul called on Lowry Marketing. That's his first foul. Really just a great play to sacrifice his body to take the charge. Here's George. 59 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Trying to end the drought. It counts. That is world class. I've seen that there. A huge possession. And he nets it. With one section, wants a teacher.
George against Sexton. Pass to Garland. Here's a quote. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Outside, Sexton. Passes to Garland. Pocket two, looking to get it going. Doesn't go that top. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. And that's an intentional foul. First team foul. Clippers take it back. The loudest and craziest fans get a free t shirt. Go on, see it, fans. All right. Look who's coming onto the court. Come on, get loud for your Clippers. is checked in. them up by far. A lot of people just could not have come back from the injury that Paul George suffered back in 2014, but to be able to get back and play at this kind of level, it's an incredible amount of determination and toughness that PG showed. Free throws always a little bit sweeter when they can add to your lead.
23 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Sexton the pass to Allen from 11 feet away. Paul George grabs the miss, and so they choose to intentionally foul. No choice but to foul there, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. At the line for your Clippers, Kawhi Leonard for a free throw, taking two shots. So the first one drops, and that makes it a seven-point lead. A guy who keeps to himself quite a bit, Kawhi Leonard, more tries to lead by example and holds himself to the highest standards on the floor. So both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. And Love has it in the corner. No good from outside. Leonard looking over the floor, and so Los Angeles takes the win. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home, and they really seem to revel in that opportunity, and this is what they came out to do. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much. Kawhi, how satisfied are you with your team's performance tonight in this win? Well, we did a great job tonight. You know, we got to come in every game with the defense ahead on first, and we did that tonight. We made shots, and we, we made that winning game. You took it to him when it mattered, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Kawhi Leonard.